guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be having to do a little repair on the creality cr6 se i broke the x-axis belt a couple weeks ago and after looking around and seeing what's out there for any videos to how to replace this because i'm still relatively new to 3d printing so i'm no expert especially when it comes to tearing these apart now i did find a video from creality on youtube in my opinion absolute garbage wasn't easy to follow at all and i think we can do it a lot easier than what they did so first things we need to get this whole belt out now they want the whole hot end assembly to come off to do this which is absolutely ridiculous it means the tubing the we'd have to pull the connector here not going to do that we can pull the adjustment right there we can get that all out maybe unscrew the knob all the way we're just going to go for it guys I took a quick look at this and I think I can do it uh, fairly easily and hopefully with no tools. So I unplugged it so we got no power running to it. I am going to just turn it sideways here so you guys can see a bit better and I can work on it a bit easier. So we can see where the belts go in right there. Now, before we get into it, there's my replacements right there. Came in a two pack, a few bucks. Unfortunately, I had to bring these in from China wasn't able to get them locally here in Canada or on Amazon. So if I had an Ender 3, no problem. There's tons of replacement parts, but for the CR6 SE, had to bring it in. Shipping was quick enough, so not a big deal. And they're only a few bucks for the replacement belts. The other option would have been to order a, like a roll of the belt and then crimp on the crimps separately. But whatever, this is good enough. So belts here, guys. It is slip in under there, like so. And that's all it's holding it, right? So not a big deal. We can get those off of both sides. I'm thinking I can do this without having to take everything apart. So that's why I'm making this video, because I think it's easier than what uh, what that uh, video from Curiaudi was showing. So there we go. The broken belt is out. All right, so basically what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to start trying to run it through there, feeding it through the top here. And then we're going to bring it out like that. And then I've got to get it. Here's the thing, and this is probably why they want it to come out. We've got to get it underneath the wheels of the hot end here. I think we can do that. I think we can just roll over them. Let's see. Yeah, it's not too difficult. I got one wheel. Let's get the other wheel now. Do it so you guys can see here. There we go. So now we got that belt under there. And now we just need to get that belt. Now we got it through. We got to run it through the rest of the way, which there's a pulley in there. Now, this is probably going to be impossible to show you guys. But I basically just have to drop that through, and hopefully, I can get to the other side of the pulley. Actually, what we can do here probably drop it through loose like that and then kind of just loop it in so you dropped it in behind right there onto the pulley should be able to drop it right below now there we go okay so once we have that belt run through around the pulley there we need to go and make sure that it's coming up properly from the underside here. So it doesn't come out the bottom like this. We actually got to shove it in and run it through. I'll try to give you a view here. Again, it's not too easy. There we go. So let's see if we can see it from the front here. You can see where it's coming out beneath there, right? Now it's tracking properly. And we can actually probably just uh, hook it up now. 
So in these same ways we removed it, it's a little slot the belt fits into, and then just put it in there. That's that. Now the other side here, guys. So the tensioner here. We're going to need to run, make sure we got this the right way. Like that, yep. So we need to run the belt through there, around the pulley. And then there's a hole in here that we can line it up with. And it'll spit it out the bottom once we get it fed through there. I can feel it. There we go. So we got that through. Now, I didn't run it the right way. Got to run the teeth on the pulley. There we go. Now we'll put it through. Okay, there we go. I'll show you here. So, we've got that side already hooked up. This side's ready to be hooked up now. And just feed that belt. Let's see if we can give you a better view here. So now we're just going to feed that belt into the notch here. A little bit more difficult, especially with uh, bigger hands, but I think we can manage. There we go. And there we go, guys. The X-axis belt is now replaced. No tools. Didn't have to take anything apart. Tighten it up a bit here. Feels pretty good. Now we got that X-axis belt changed out. I'm just running a bed level to keep an eye on the belt to make sure it's running smoothly and that's not binding. And so far, looking good. I think uh, that was an easy enough uh, repair there, changing out that belt. Definitely easier than what I saw on the Creality video. Only thing we needed to remove off the printer was the tensioner here. Other than that, everything else was able to stay assembled, and we just fed that belt through. And now we're running it, and it looks good, guys. So I think we're going to leave it at that, guys. If you liked this video and it was helpful to you, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. I've got some printing to catch up on here. We'll be having uh, more videos with the CR6 SE here in the future. I've still got that Y-axis belt. So when that belt breaks, I'm sure we'll do a video on that. And I have a few upgrades as well that I think we'll uh, turn the camera on for and share with you guys. So anyways, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.